Hey guys, this is a quick, well not really quick, but this is a brief user-wise review of the iPod Shuffle 4th generation. Now, I'm not no professional, but that's why I said it's a user, user review. Now, I wanted to do the unboxing, but I couldn't, because at the time my camera battery was low and I couldn't wait 5 hours to wait for my Canon to charge so I just opened it myself well your iPod shuffle comes in this case it's a small case and I really find it like a case in which you would put your ring or something like that or maybe it's just me I'm lame that way and it's two gigabytes by the way it cost me forty fifty dollars it's strapped in this case right here and it says to pull on here you pull on that and here it's a design by Apple in California because I live in California so you slowly open it up and the first thing you see is start here now I always had difficulty taking these out so you have a whole pile right here and wait hold on there are a few things in there okay nothing <clears throat> so this is the manual for the shuffle it's very important you read these if you are the first time user because it's not as easy as other iPod now, uh, you, I recommend starting reading from this side because here it says, you know, from starting from download uh, and install iTunes to connect and, and all that from all the controls that you can do. Next thing you got here is your warranty and a product information. You have a one year warranty on this thing, so it's pretty good. One year and. <clears throat> You have your sticker <clears throat> that's like stuck in here right now, and I can't. Okay, there you go. So here's your Apple logo sticker. I guess you guys can make it out from here. Or, oh wait, never mind. You guys can make it out from here. It's an Apple logo, but the thing is, it's bigger than the shuffle. So, yeah. Now for the now inside you'll have one of these. It's a USB cable for the uh, fourth generation shuffle and you have this plug here and you just shove it in there and this is basically your charging way or you can use that it does not come with the AC adapter but you, s you can still use your AC adapters from your iPhone or iPod and you can still use that as a charger and the other thing it comes with is this headphone which I believe is I don't know how many I don't know but it does not have the voice control or the volume control so it's not just a plain old iPod headphones but if you were to buy these alone it would cost you a good amount of money even though they're just normal regular headphones well they do have good sound quality the way they're built it's built tough built for quality so now going on to the actual device I bought the silver it's available in blue, green, orange yellow I believe and pink I chose silver because I'm cool that way you got your on and off button and it, this is in the middle which means normal play pushing the side it's shuffle Turn it all the way back, it's um, off. Now, for the battery sequence, for the blink that comes on from this port right here, if the blink is green, it's full, 75% to 50%. If it's orange, it's 25%. If it's red, battery low, and it'll stop playing songs. Now, to play any type of um, music you just play the music and you press this just like that and it'll tell you what song is playing you know it uses that Microsoft Sam type of voice if you press it for a while it will tell you a playlist like all songs or play this one or play this two or whatever you name your playlist press it for a few while like I said and it'll tell you your playlist name and you can while you can press these to change your playlist and if you want to resume play press this simple now for fifty dollars two GB gigabytes 
It can hold very good amount of music, probably 500. And um, it can also be used as a flash-based USB device. But to synchronize music into it, you need iTunes. Now, you can use this as your, you know, flash drive. But to put music, you need iTunes. Just make that clear. You'll understand it by yourself. Here are a few voiceover buttons. Press to hear the soundtrack. Press and hold to hear playlist menu. Play, pause. Press play, pause to select playlist. Press twice to hear battery status. On the back side, you got your press play or pause button, your layouts, your button configurations, and some contact information. And start here. So here we start again. Blah, blah, blah. So, I bought mine at Walmart, by the way. I know, I know, I suck. But, yeah. So this has been my review for my iPod Shuffle. Man, I make a mess. And thanks you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.